Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I am getting into the holiday season and I know that last week I talked a little bit more about basics and how you can style them for the holidays. This week I am tackling all of those pieces that you might have perhaps purchased years ago for a very fancy event or a gala and you've only worn them once or twice but now I think this is the time that you can really pull out those one-time use pieces and really stretch their use and have some fun with them. So uh, I've got four items that I think most of you must have in your closets and I'll share a little bit of a formula that I like to use to really get the most use out of them for really any formal occasion. Let's jump on it. Before jumping into those pieces, I'm going to go over the formula that I like to use that really helps me get some more use out of these more formal and fussy pieces in my closet. The first step that I do is I dress it down. So I try to pair these pieces with something that is very casual, or if not something casual, something that has a very opposite vibe to it, just to give the outfit a little bit of tension. This in itself is a styling hack, but I think it's a really fun step to also mix and match and put pieces together in your closet that you maybe wouldn't think of putting together before. The second step is style it up. So taking the pieces that you've chosen to mix together and seeing how you can tweak them in very small ways just as they are. Perhaps can you flip a collar, add texture or layer something over or under? Those are the kinds of things that I look to tweak in the second step. The third thing I always do, and this goes for pretty much every outfit formula that I do, and that is to add an accessorize. So now is the time where you can add a cool pair of textured tights or a beautiful shoe or layer a couple of necklaces and jewelry, that kind of thing. I'm going to start with one of the hardest pieces I think uh, for us to find the most versatility out of, and that is the long evening dress. This is, gosh, I bought this at least four or five years ago now. If I were to dress this down, I don't really feel like for the holidays pairing this with a t-shirt. I mean, you totally could, depending on where you're going and whatnot. But instead of going on the opposite end of the formality spectrum, I'm going to look at a different style genre altogether, and I'm going to go into my more kind of business wear and pair it with a blazer. So now that I've got these two pieces together, I'm going to style up what I've done. So instead of just, you know, throwing a blazer on over a dress, which to be honest could look totally fine, I'm going to add an interesting belt. Not only will this add a little bit more of a festive feel to the look, but it will also create a silhouette that I think is a little bit more flattering. Now the next part of the styling it up is my personal favorite part of building any outfit, and that is the footwear. I think rather than keeping with the more kind of business and straightforward vibe that the blazer gives off, I'm going to keep the party vibe going with a pair of kind of sparkly, very interesting looking pumps. Finally, when it comes to adding and accessorizing, because the blazer is so strong and structured, I think your accessories should be equally bold so as not to be lost in the strength of the blazer. <laughs> from a girlfriend who found them to be too uncomfortable. Uh, I remember we actually switched shoes in the restaurant. She didn't keep my boots. Um, but I ended up wearing these for the rest of the evening. I just think they're so fabulous. Uh, so they are a hand-me-down in a way. When it comes to dressing down your shoe, I would definitely say have a lot of fun with it and go as far opposite to your shoe, very sparkly and bedazzled and fancy. Um, as you possibly can. I think the more predictable thing would be to say pair these with denim and a nice blouse, but I'm gonna take it one step further, actually I just had this thought now, and like try maybe pairing it even with a beautiful silk leisure pant. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna grab mine. So I'm gonna use these, gosh in the light you can't really see them, they're like this beautiful silky jogging pant, literally. I bought them, I 
want to say in 2010. So I'm going to use those to dress this look down. Um, and because I'm dressing down, I'm going to also keep the top very simple. Uh, I'm just going to grab like a very basic silk top. <laughs> Very basic top and bottom, but you've got these, you know, really awesome bedazzled shoes that in my personal opinion, I think it's great when your shoe can steal the show. Like, I mean, gosh, there's nothing better than good footwear. Anyway, so what I'm going to do to style those pieces up is I'm going to tuck the shirt all the way in. I think when you tuck your shirt all the way in, this creates a really nice refined and more elevated look. And since the pants that I've put on are literally jogging pants, I think it's really important to keep the rest of the look nice and tight. When it comes to accessorizing, I think it's nice to create a little bit of a balance. It's really nice to bookend a look. Oh, I'm using that word again. Uh, with bedazzle on the bottom and on the top. So I'm gonna add a pair of really interesting, equally sparkly earrings here. And if you don't want every family member asking why you're wearing jogging pants to this special occasion or special holiday event, then I would say definitely throw in a nice purse, whether it's bedazzled or has a really great structure to it. Uh, that can also really elevate a look without having to do much. bachelorette party and you only wore it once or perhaps I find most of us when we've purchased that bedazzled or sequined or metallic top that we tend to just kind of pair it with black and call it a day. I'm going to use my Alice and Olivia gorgeous flare leg pants. I think I bought them in 2013 actually for a friend's wedding. Opting for a more harmonious look that has less contrast comes out looking a little bit more elegant and soft. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to pair my new Everlane bodysuit with these gold pants. And I think because they're almost analogous, it's almost like a yellow and a green mixed together, it's a really nice soft and elevated look. Now when it comes to styling it up, I think all I can do, really, is just lift the sleeves a little bit up on my arms and this is not only to give it a little bit more of a different look than how I would wear it during the day, but it'll also allow me to wear some really pretty bracelets and make sure that any jewelry on my hands really gets to shine. I'm going to continue with the analogous color theme by grabbing, I'm so proud of this, a pair of olive shoes. These are second hand. I found them at a vintage store. They're Escada. You could easily add with this pairing just a beautiful nude or beige shoe and you would still get the same overall effect. Now when it comes to accessorizing, I am going to add a nice belt to really polish the look and bring it all together. A great bag that in this case, I again, I don't think I want to contrast too much. So I'm going to keep the theme going with gold, a nice soft color and tone. And finally, I'm going to add accessories. Something really beautiful around the neck because that square neckline is the perfect canvas for it. But I'm gonna keep the earrings, I think, pretty minimal because it's the hands and the belt and the neck that I want my attention focused and I don't wanna overdo it. cocktail number in our closet that maybe we've worn to a whole bunch of different weddings, in which case, bravo, that's amazing. Uh, here's how I would kind of style mine for the holiday season in a little bit of a different way, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to take my, gosh, there are so many like sparkles in this video. Anyway, this cocktail dress is ooh, made in Canada. Couldn't tell you how old it is. Maybe I want to say five years. In order to dress this down, I would use one of my favorite styling hacks, uh, especially in this colder season, and that is to layer. But I wouldn't layer it over. I would layer 
under. So I'm going to take this gorgeous top. It's just a really beautiful mock neck from Organic Basics, like a regular top that you would wear on the daily. But because it's got the mock neck and it's going to come up above the crew, it'll add a really nice dimension beyond just the longer sleeves underneath. Because it's a dress, I don't think there's that much we can do in terms of tweaking. We've already done a little bit of layering. You could, of course, zhuzh the sleeves up a little bit. What you could do is accessorize by really bringing out the colors in the dress. Or perhaps you've got it alternated and you've got a very neutral dress with an interesting layer underneath. You could totally do that too. Because there's so much going on at the neck here, I probably wouldn't focus too much on a necklace or earrings. Instead, I would really make sure that my hands are covered in really cool cocktail rings and something else that you can add that will add a little bit more extra dimension and texture to this outfit is a pair of tights. You can go wild with a different color or you can go with the trusty classic, a pair of nice nude fishnet stockings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which look is your favorite in the comments below. And I hope you have fun kind of restyling and reinventing those pieces in your own closet this holiday season or for whatever occasion you get to kind of dress up a little bit fancy for. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome week ahead. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe. Never remember which side it's on uh, down here. Uh, so that you don't miss another video and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching.